Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV. We had a customer stop by with his 13F150 that we finished a couple weeks back, so we snagged him and we're gonna bring this thing to you. We got a 2013 F150. Now this thing only has a leveling kit, but he put the 20 by 10s with 35s on it. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Hey guys, like I said, this is a customer that came into us. He's got this 13 F-150, and he was really dead set, had his heart on going with a 20 by 10. This is a negative 19 fuel. And let's do the lip test quick, and then I'll get back into that. But I would say, I'll call it three and a quarter inches, probably lip on that one. Again, that's a 10 wide with a negative 19. And when he came in, he t was telling us, I've got a leveled F-150 and I want to fit the 35, 12 and a half Toyo, or uh, Nitto trail graps on there. We told him it isn't going to happen. When it comes to a level, you can get the 33s with that wheel, but when you go to the 35s, the amount of cutting becomes really extreme. And we're willing to do it, but most customers aren't willing to let us because of the amount of cutting. Well, what he decided to do was actually go with, if you take a peek in here, he went with the Fox coilovers and then the Icon uh, upper control arms. What that does is rather than being maxed out about that two and a half, two and three quarter inch that you can come up with a level without starting to have uh, upper control arm issues, he replaced the upper control arms, went with those uh, coilovers and then <clears throat> he was able to actually come up about three inches if not a touch more. So what that did is it gave him just enough room for that 35 and that 10 wide where he was able to get in there and he did this cutting himself and did a phenomenal job. But you'll see he did a really clean cut on the bottom, took out the inner wheel well, Junior. If you come take a peek here, you'll see he took out most of the inner um, fender well there so that he's not running into that stuff. And then on the back, same thing. You'll see he had to get into quite a bit of metal and take off the back side of that, um, the fender itself, the under piece, and then take in, out the inner fender so that he could get that to fit. But again, a really aggressive trim job that turned out super clean. He actually did an amazing job. Uh, looks good. And look at that stuff look. If you step back, you can take a look at it down the side. He's probably out there, I would say two and a half, three inches up front, just a touch less than the rear. But if you stand back here, I mean, it's just stuffed. It's a 35 inch tire in a leveled F-150. And it just gives it a mean, mean, mean full wheel well look the thing turned out awesome uh it's very rare that we'll tell him this isn't going to fit because we love making stuff fit but we knew that if he just did a typical leveling kit it wasn't going to happen he had to go ahead and get creative and start going with the upper control arms and the uh, coilovers to make that happen so the only other thing is really uh looks like match factory tint on the front up there to get it to go together he's got the uh, tonneau cover over the back And this is just another example, not a pile of money poured into it, you know, a couple thousand bucks and some front end suspension work. He did the Fox shocks in the rear as well. And it's just a really mean, well put together, stuffed wheel well look. Truck turned out awesome. Remember, we're doing spotlight after spotlight after spotlight. If a customer stops by, sometimes we're gonna chase them down the road and uh, just jump out in front of random trucks that we have never seen before. We're gonna keep bringing them to you, keep bringing you the specs, keep telling you about them. Sometimes I'll have a guest here, sometimes we'll run solo, but follow us, subscribe to us. YouTube.com slash custom offsets, peace.